Howdy. <laughs> the Nook and I are uh, just out uh, on the other end of my, my trap line. I've been trapping a whole other corner of my, uh, my territory this year. And um, I've spent about uh, a couple of weeks sleeping out uh, recently and set a bunch of traps. I got about 30 kilometers of trail set. And so uh, it's been sitting for about a week. I've been resting, resting my body <laughs> for about a week um, after all that work. And uh, now we're just coming out to spend a few days and uh, check my trails and my lines and uh, just enjoy yourself. So that's what we're doing. This here is uh, one of five beaver houses that I have trapped set at. So. Uh, you can see there's been some activity on the the top of it, up by the chimney. A lot of times fox and lynx will, uh, will go up there and dig around, but uh, yeah, we'll, we'll check that one uh, next couple of days. Uh, uh, yeah, I've got, I've got five uh, beaver houses uh, set with traps right now. Um, almost a couple dozen uh, Martin and Fisher, and then a bunch of snares and things for, uh, for fox and lynx. So, uh, got a lot of stuff to check. Hopefully, uh, we got some fur. This is pretty, uh, pretty remote, uh, well-timbered country. Um, lots of animal signs, so if I don't catch anything, it's, uh, it's my fault. <laughs> if you can see these tracks, we've got uh, a set of fox tracks on the right, and then that pair on the left is a, a lynx. So, these are you know, a couple days old, but uh, you know, I've got a got a couple trail sets up ahead, snares. So hopefully, hopefully we got one of these guys. Once the snow starts to get uh, get deep like this, um, midwinter, or I guess we're we're a little past midwinter. It's February now. Um, animals, as you see, they love to follow follow pack trails because it's. Uh, really is hell for them to get around in uh, in the deep snow and uh, yeah if you make a trail they'll they'll follow it so that's what we're seeing here I've kind of created like I said about 30 kilometers of trail I've broken and uh, made my own little highways all the animals are using them now it's nice to see and uh, Hey, you pissing, pissing on the job. Come on. <laughs> I tell you what, Nanook is uh, really turning out to be a hell of a working dog. You know, we used to, you know, kind of just play at this. And uh, past couple of years, uh, especially, you know, this winter, um, man, he is just so strong. Uh, he really, Pulls the bulk, bulk of the load uh, up hills, uh, just unreal. Really, uh, really proud of him. I don't know what happened here. Here's my set. He walked right through it. <sighs> Must have brushed the uh, snare aside, or you know, maybe the wind and snow. <sighs> oh well. Fuck. <laughs> Way she goes. Well, we missed the link. And that that uh, first round, he's got a few more places he can mess up at. But uh, coming up to my first uh, pole set on the trail, and it looks like I got a fisher. So, let's go down. Take a look. Oh yeah, that's a beautiful fisher. Oh. Don't step off the trail. Yeah, so the way this works 
is uh, well, I found a leaning tree here. And uh, what I did was wired, I got a hunk of beaver meat at the top. And uh, I cut a notch right here that my, my trap will, will fit into. And when the fisher or Martin comes along, they see this pole and they can smell the scent. Put some uh, some skunk uh, gland and stuff on there. And they run up the pole. I'll have this covered with boughs so it makes like a cubby. And the only way for them to get through is they have to go through the trap. And uh, that's how I got them. So beautiful, beautiful. On by. Let's go. Come on, let's go. Run the brake line so it doesn't overtake them on the downgrades. Whoa, good boy. Hey, hey, you. Just spooked a grouse. See if we can get some uh, fresh meat for dinner here. Well, I made it to the wigwam. Or I'll be staying for a few days and uh, there was a bird waiting for us so yeah got some dinner here so get things in order and uh, and we'll uh, we'll do a night round of checks I'm gonna check my uh, my small loop tonight so it looks like it's gonna be a nice uh, nice bright clear sky so Just a bunch of tarps that I put up. I always make sure I've got a healthy wood pile. A little bit of uh, grub. I got some beaver, rabbit, and a, a pike hanging there. That's my meat cache. Um, other supplies, and uh, yeah, where I sit. So. Gotta go get some water through the ice and then uh, go check traps. So here at my first set, just checking uh, traps. This is my uh, first pole set on this loop. It's about a, I don't know, five kilometer loop, I would say. But you can see I've got a long pole and I've wired to a tree with my bait and boughs and it makes a little cubby where the trap sits. So that's what caught that fisher. But nothing in this one, so carry on. You guys can't see, but uh, I'm in this massive swamp, um, and I've, I've set traps around the perimeter. But the reason I'm walking like this with my snowshoes and kind of um, just easing into each step is because uh, I've gone through the ice here, and um, with this extra snow load. It's even more insulated, the uh, swamp water underneath. So I actually uh, took a step back there and I felt a, an ice shelf kind of <laughs> crack on me. So 
Now, yes, it's dark, but I could easily fall through in the daytime. That's just as easily. And what's my solution if I do? Well, it's the exact same at night as it is in the day. So, go make a big fire, dry my foot gear out. Won't be the, the first time it happened and it won't be the last, so. Okay, I think we're all right to go now. <laughs> my goodness. Just coming to the last uh, pole set here. And it looks like, uh, yeah, you can see it's that white bit of snow up top of the screen. Yeah, nothing. So, well, this swamp didn't produce for me, but that's okay. Now I know for next year. And uh, it was a really nice, uh, nice walk with this guy, anyhow. Not that we haven't walked enough today but it's all right. <laughs>